Pasargade was the capital of the Achaemenid Empire under Cyrus the Great who had issued its construction. It was also the location of his tomb. History Cyrus the Great began building the capital in 546 BC or later. It was unfinished when he died in battle. In 530 or 529 BC, the remains of the tomb of Cyrus' son and successor Cambyses II have been found in Pasargade, near the fortress of Toli Tact, and identified in 2006. Pasargade remained the capital of the Achaemenid Empire until Cambyses II moved it to Susa. Later, Darius founded another in Persepolis. The archaeological site covers 1.6 square kilometers and includes a structure commonly believed to be the Mausoleum of Cyrus, the fortress of Toli Tact sitting on top of a nearby hill, and the remains of two royal palaces and gardens. Pasargade Persian gardens provide the earliest known example of the Persian Chahabag, or fourfold garden design. Tomb of Cyrus the Great The most important monument in Pasargade is the Tomb of Cyrus the Great. It has six broad steps leading to the sepulchre, the chamber of which measures 3.17 m long by 2.11 m wide by 2.11 m high and has a low and narrow entrance. Though there is no firm evidence identifying the tomb as that of Cyrus, Greek historians tell that Alexander believed it was. When Alexander looted and destroyed Persepolis, he paid a visit to the tomb of Cyrus. Arian, writing in the 2nd century AD, recorded that Alexander commanded Aristobulus, one of his warriors, to enter the monument. Inside he found a golden bed, a table set with drinking vessels, a gold coffin, some ornaments studded with precious stones and an inscription on the tomb. No trace of any such inscription survives, and there is considerable disagreement to the exact wording of the text. Strabo reports that it read, Pass or by, I am Cyrus, who gave the Persians an empire, and was king of Asia. Grudge me not therefore this monument. Another variation, as documented in Persia, the immortal kingdom, is, O man, whoever thou art, from wheresoever thou cometh, for I know you shall come, I am Cyrus, who founded the empire of the Persians. Grudge me not, therefore, this little earth that covers my body. In particular, the tomb of Pasargade has almost exactly the same dimensions as the tomb of Aliates II, father of the Lydian king Croesus. However, some have refused the claim. The main decoration on the tomb is a rosette design over the door within the gable. In general, the art and architecture found at Pasargade exemplified the Persian synthesis of various traditions, drawing on precedents from Elim. Babylon, Assyria, and ancient Egypt, with the addition of some Anatolian influences. Archaeology The first capital of the Achaemenid Empire, Pasargade lies in ruins 43 kilometers from Persepolis, in present-day Fars province of Iran. Pasargade was first archaeologically explored by the German archaeologist Ernst Hertzfeld in 1905, and in one excavation season in 1928 together with his assistant Friedrich Krefter. Since 1946, the original documents, notebooks, photographs, fragments of wall paintings and pottery from the early excavations are preserved in the Freer Gallery of Art, Smithsonian Institution, in Washington, D.C. After Hertzfeld, Sir Oral Stein completed a site plan for Passargade in 1934. In 1935, Eric Keff, Schmidt produced a series of aerial photographs of the entire complex. From 1949 to 1955, an Iranian team led by Ali Sami worked there. A British Institute of Persian Studies team led by David Stronach resumed excavation from 1961 to 1963. It was during the 1960s that a pot hoard known as the Passargade treasure was excavated near the foundations of Pavilion B at the site. Dating to the 5th-4th centuries BC, the treasure consists of ornate Achaemena jewelry made from gold and precious gems and is now housed in the National Museum of Iran and the British Museum. After a gap, 
Work was resumed by the Iranian Cultural Heritage Organization and the Maison de l'Orient et de la Méditerranée of the University of Lyon in 2000. Savant Dam Controversy There has been growing concern regarding the proposed Savant Dam, named after the nearby town of Savant. Despite planning that has stretched over 10 years, Iran's own Iranian cultural heritage organization was not aware of the broader areas of flooding during much of this time. Its placement between both the ruins of Pasargade and Persepolis has many archaeologists and Iranians worried that the dam will flood these UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Although scientists involved with the construction say this is not obvious because the sites sit above the planned waterline. Of the two sites, Pasargade is the one considered the most threatened. Experts agree that planning of future dam projects in Iran merit earlier examination of the risks to cultural resource properties. A broadly shared concern to archaeologists is the effect of the increase in humidity caused by the lake. All agree that humidity created by it will speed up the destruction of Pasargade, yet experts from the Ministry of Energy believe it could be partially compensated by controlling the water level of the reservoir. Construction of the dam began April 19, 2007. In culture, in 1930, the Brazilian poet Manuel Bandeira published a poem called Vomi Embora Piare Passagada in a book entitled Libertinism. It tells the story of a man who wants to go to Passagade, described in the poem as a utopian city. This poem has become one of the Portuguese language's classics. The following is an extract, in the original then in a translation, Gallery, Tomb of Cyrus the Great, the Prison of Solomon, another part of the ruined compound, which may be the Tomb of Cambyses I, the Audience Hall of the Passargade Palace, the Citadel of Passargade, at its top many column bases indicate the structure was not unlike the Athenian Acropolis in positioning and structure. Tomb of Cyrus the Great. Bibliography. Savant Dam's inundation postponed for six months. Cultural Heritage News Agency. The 29th of November 2005. Retrieved September 15, 2006. Fathi, Nazila, A Rush to Excavate Ancient Iranian Sites, The New York Times, fully accessible at Fathi, Nazila, SF Gate, The San Francisco Chronicle, Ali Musavi, Cyrus Can Rest in Peace, Pasargade and Rumors About the Dangers of Savan Dam, History, Iranian. Passargade will never drown, Cultural Heritage News Agency, the 12th of September 2005, retrieved September 15, 2006, Matheson, Sylvia A. Persia, An Archaeological Guide, Sefran, Andre, Manuel Bandiera, Poesia Completa e Prosa, Volume Unico, Manuel Bandiera. Complete Poetry and Prose, Unique Volume, Rio de Janeiro, Editora Nova Aguila, ISBN 978852100018-9, Stronach, David, Passargade, A Report on the Excavations Conducted by the British Institute of Persian Studies from 1961 to 63, Oxford University Press, ISBN 0198131 3190 9